We are now showing the complete procedure for the bending of a shape using the MG rolling machine equipped with a touch command Evo CNC. It's divided into three main stages, input of the plate data, input of the shape drawing, manually or by DXF import, generation of the sequence of movements and their execution. The buttons which allow the user to open the plates, shapes and programs windows are easily accessible in the main menu, each corresponding to one of the above mentioned operations. First of all, let's open the plates window. We begin entering the name of the directory in which the file will be saved. Let's enter the name of the file. We go on with the name of the material, the thickness of the plate and its width. Let's complete with a pinch in pressure value. Now we save the new file so that it will be stored in the plate's archive. Let's proceed now to the estimate of the plate elasticity, which takes place entering at least two test points, that is to say two positions of the bending roll and the corresponding obtained radiuses. The test itself is made manually, but the preparation steps can be automatically generated in the program's window. As first test angle, we choose a value near the maximum allowed to obtain a small bending radius. As second test angle, we use a smaller value to obtain a rather big bending radius, bigger than the maximum bending radius of the shape we're going to make. Let's proceed further with the measure of the resulting radiuses by means of the cord and sagitta method. Let's fill in the table rows. In case we use the digital arch meter, we can enter the radius value directly. After inserting the data related to the second test point, we can save the file. The first phase is over, we can now enter the shape data. From the main menu let's open the shapes window in which we can select the kind of shape and enter its dimensions. Let's select the rectangular tank. We enter the dimensions of the tank, width, joint radius and height. It's possible to display the three-dimensional rendering of the shape. Let's give a name to the shape and save it. Let's select the plate we want to use for our tank and read in the info area the minimum and maximum radiuses of the shape and the length of the plate to cut. It's also possible to import the shape data from a USB flash drive in DXF format. To do this, let's press the Import button. Pressing the elaborate button, the automatic generation of the program is started. It's actually performed after the confirmation or change of some basic options. Pressing the Execute button, the new program is transferred to the execution window, from which we can run it. During the execution, the program line currently selected, the calculated and actual interpolation trajectories are displayed on the screen so that it's possible to constantly check the accuracy of the movements.
As a final step, we save the program so that we'll be able to quickly reload and execute it when needed. Let's enter the names of the directory and of the file and press the Save button. Let's close our demo, showing the bending of an elliptical shape. The program has been generated following the same steps adopted for the rectangular tank. Obviously, if we use the same plate, it's not necessary to repeat any test on it, but it's enough to select the previously saved plate and launch the elaboration with a new shape data. Our software is available in all the main languages. To select a language from the main menu, let's open the secondary one and then press the Languages button. Let's choose the language of our interest. On request, other translations can be added.